Hello there people, today I'm going to be talking about the BMP2M and I will explain all the benefits and disadvantages of the vehicle and I will personally say I think this thing is stupidly powerful. So without a further ado, let's get right into it. So the BMP-2M was one of the vehicles that was released in the update Starfighters, alongside with the F-104s and the other squadron vehicles. Squadron vehicles being tanks, planes, boats and helicopters, they can be researched by joining a squadron and playing the game. The most points you will get at a time is 20,000 every couple of days, making the research of the desired vehicle a little bit lengthier. With the BMP-2M being in this category, it is essentially a free high tier killing machine. Being placed at 9.3 in the Russian tech tree, I personally think it's a good place to put it. <coughs> Used to be at 8.7, <coughs> <coughs> but it's still crazy powerful. Having a 30 mm auto cannon, which has an APFS DS shell with 102 mm of penetration, but that's just the start. The Russians decided they couldn't pack enough death into the cannon, so they strapped more death onto the sides of the turret putting two tandem warhead ATGMs on each side. These ATGMs are called a 9M133 Cornet. Being a 152mm death stick, it travels at 300m per second and has a firing range of 5.5km. But what makes this ATGM crazy is that it can penetrate 1200mm of armour, sending anything on the other side of it back to the hangar making it arguably one of, if not the best ATGM in the game, having better statistics than basically everyone else. It is a bit of a controversial topic, seeing as some ATGMs have the capability to penetrate through the roof, but that will be a discussion for another time. So this is the part of the video where I explain to you how the BMP-2M should be used and what to do in a combat situation, which is what most of you have been waiting for. But it's not as easy as saying, use this specific method, since there's many different ways the BMP-2M could be used. For example, playing on spaceport, the best thing you can do is flank at the very edges and shoot people in the side or the back. But the same strategy on Fire Arc or Sands of Sinai wouldn't be as effective and I'll explain why. The BMP-2M has next to no armour protecting it, seeing as 50 cal machine guns can penetrate it to some extent. So if you're seen in the open, you will get melted next to instantly if noticed. So being noticed is the thing you want to eliminate. And the best way to do this is stay in cover as much as possible. And as easy and ridiculous that sounds, it works incredibly well. Combining the speed of the BMP-2M with the ability to not be seen behind cover makes an ideal playstyle of how to use the BMP-2M. And using this playstyle will get you some amazing results. Just like this. Now I'll run you through some scenarios, adding small comments to give you a better understanding of how to play the BMP-2M. So, right off the bat I may mention that before I spawn into a game, I look at all possible areas that have a good amount of concealment, or areas that have a high amount of distraction. In this case I decided to go into quite a populated area, where there is usually a lot of firefights between the left of A and the right of A. But in this position there is a good amount of cover, shielding you from attention and being shot at, making it a good spot for pouncing at just the right moment, just like I'm about to show you right here. 
And as you can see right here, the class 3P gets shot after I spot him, so he is now distracted with the person that is shooting at him, so I take advantage of that and make my push. And at the end of it, I end up getting a cheeky double. Now here is another game where I had gotten 7 kills in the BMP2M on the map Poland. In this case I tried going places where the enemy was least expecting me and opening fire. I did this by using the tunnels or arches to get about the map quicker and moving into a position where I would then wait for enemies to come by. Later on you can see that I am posted up in a position waiting for any enemies to come by. I notice a light vehicle speed past and decide to head in that direction. When I go search the area, I come across two tanks and later a third all in front of me, all looking in the opposite direction. I gun all of them down no problem and continue on. After this triple kill I get shot in the turret which ends up disabling my gunner. I deploy smoke and hide in a place where I'm covered by my team and wait. By doing this, I'm resetting the whole engagement and putting myself in a better position where I will get an easy side shot. He falls for the bait, and I get to live another day. The last two kills weren't as much of a challenge seeing as the enemy was using lower tier vehicles, not posing much of a threat. So, for the conclusion of this video, I have given you a rough history of the BMP-2M, I have spoke about the armament that it has, and have discussed how it should be used, and I hope everything I have said has given you a better understanding of what to do when using the BMP-2M. If I have helped you, please hit the like and subscribe button since it helps the channel grow and reach a wider audience. I hope I have helped you all today, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will talk to you all later.